Hello my friends, welcome to day four of the Holistic Strength Yoga Challenge where we're working on alignment and activation so that may, we may release stress, gripping tension in our lives and walk around more easy and free. And this was one of the biggest postures for really helping me ease into it, ease into stretching. Uh, and learn to breathe through discomfort, which if I could do it here, I could do it anywhere else. This one is really important for us to know the difference between pain and joints, hips, knees, ankles, feet, elbows, wrists, shoulders, neck, spine, and discomfort. Discomfort is a burning. It's like a, hey, I wanna stop this, but I'm gonna keep doing it anyway. And pain is like, oh, something's not right there. If you feel pain in this, get out of it. Make it easier. If you feel uncomfortable, good job. Stay there. You may want some pillows and or yoga blocks if you have them today. You also may want a chair out in front of you. I'm not gonna demonstrate that, but you get the idea from our previous postures. So I'm gonna have these pillows out in front of me. We're gonna start in a kneeling position, hands and knees. And then you're gonna scoot those knees out as wide as you are comfortable. I'm gonna point my toes straight back. You can see them back there. And then if I can go wider, I will. But if I can't, without discomfort, and this is where you really get a nice, beautiful relationship with your hips. If you feel tension in the hip joint, you're too wide. We think of Jean-Claude Van Damme as a splits pro, but also tendons and ligaments, the things that hold the joints together, they really don't go back. So do not stretch in your tendons and ligaments. That's what we see in a lot of yoga classes and why I decided to uh, really take my uh, knowledge to the world here. I want you to find alignment and activation through your muscles, not <laughs> through stretching into your tendons and ligaments. So we're as wide as you can go. And to make this more challenging, you can slide the feet further apart. But if you're like, wow, that really hurts, don't do it. Keep your toes together. From here, we're nice and wide. You can come down to those pillows or blocks, or you can stay upright on your hands, but maybe you can come down to those forearms. Maybe you have a chair out in front of you and you're nice and upright, and that's also fantastic. What we're gonna do here is play with our hips. We've been talking about untucking the pelvis, like we can point our tailbone towards the ceiling right now and tucking it like we are sitting at a desk, unfortunately. We're gonna try and keep it slightly untucked. Not all the way, where we're crunching into our lower back, but just backing out of that a little bit. Remember, if you feel pain in your hip joints, get out of it. We don't want to stretch in there. Two, we can wiggle our hips right and left while we're hanging out here. And left and right. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. We can make some circles. We can make circles the other way. Whatever feels right. And now, let's start breathing. Let's take a big inhale, breathing through the nose. There's two balloons in your rib cage. Blow them up. And as we exhale, just uh, let it go. Keeping those legs active by imagining that you're in a hallway. There's a wall against your right knee, a wall against your left. You're just gently pressing out into those. Not as hard as you can, just gently. Just gently, maybe 20% of your max effort here. Taking a big inhale. And a big exhale. I know you probably want to escape, and that's okay. You can stay here. Taking another big breath. I don't know what that sound is, but everything's okay. And let me go. And if you want to play in here, if you're like, I'm going to stay in this for a little bit longer, we can play. But you don't have to. You can get out of this now by laying down to your belly. Gently bringing those legs closer together where you can wiggle your way up and out of it. But if you're hanging out with me still, you wanna do a little bit more. What we can do is we can rock forwards and backwards. We can rock down towards our belly. Oh yeah, we can rock back into that frog. We can rock forwards. We can rock it back. If you wanna have a little bit more fun here as you rock it forward, you can try picking up one ankle without crunching into it. Remember, what do you wanna look like in your life? You don't wanna look sagged over to one side. We can sit back, bring the ankle down. We can shift forward, lifting that left ankle up. Having a wonderful time sitting it back. You can do this as long as you want. 
You might do it for three breaths, five breaths, three to five forward and backward shifts, three to five minutes. And when you come out of this, it is important to come out very gently. Oh, I just noticed how amazing your hips feel. As always, take a picture of this posture for you today. Whatever variation you are in, wherever you were in it, whether you're at a professional level or you're just starting, I want to see it. Post it on your social media, share it with me personally, tag me in it, and thanks for being here. Practice it a few more times today, and you have an amazing day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.